it's supposed to rain harder tomorrow than it has this entire season and it's overcast right now <clears throat> I wonder if I can get the roof on there obviously I won't be able to set it up you know all the way over to the tank but maybe I can get the roof on there put a gutter on there and have it drain into a 50 gallon drum so I can get some water from the rain tomorrow <laughs> Of the metal studs up here are scrap material um, to save time I just went I went you know one on this side one on this side went back and forth and I just don't feel like taking the time to cut everything when I can slap it together just fine like this <laughs> but uh, if yeah if you had questions on what was happening you probably have a better understanding now the battens make it easy to attach the corrugated steel to the roof and then I already lined up um, this piece of flashing I used one of these on the shed over there as a gutter so I've I've got that pretty well lined up and then I've got enough um, four inch tubing the corrugated collapsible stuff that I should be able to wrap it around the edge and then if I can support it I can get it all the way over to the tank uh, before it rains tomorrow There are five dragonflies flying around in front of me. There's two right there. There's two more on this side. I've never seen five dragonflies at the same time. You can see those little ones in the when they're in front of the sky, I think. got the rain harvesting system pretty well set up I used uh, old flashing to fashion a gutter on the back like I did on the side of the shed it's uh, not perfect but it works pretty good I need to seal a couple joints and then I'm deciding if I should use the four inch corrugated piping I got that stretches the tubing and run the gutter all the way over to the existing tank by the geothermal I think that could be a smart move because if it rains real heavily tomorrow I could get hundreds of gallons of water that I wouldn't be able to get otherwise. And, you know, losing out on that is, is a lot because we only get, you know, a f about 11 inches annually. Sorry, the flies are messing with me. But uh, the other option would be, you know, it's almost 2 p.m. and I got to hurry and pack a bunch of product and get ready for the for the market tomorrow. You know, so I'm I'm trying to decide if I should stay here and catch a bunch of water or if I should put in you know several more hours of work just so I can get ready to go to the market which is good you know and make some money at the market but uh god it's a hard decision kind of
It wasn't really supposed to rain today, but we're getting some. It's coming from the south, and I'm just putting tar on some of these hills right now. I've been waiting just a little bit to see if uh, enough rain will come down and wash out the other end. It only rained for 20 minutes earlier. It's starting up again right now. but. I must have got a hundred gallons in 20 minutes with all systems included. Look, even after the biggest rainfall I've had, do you see how nice and dry it is in there? <laughs> it's the same with the, the little goat pen or goat house over there. So this has really been working really pretty good. You know, I don't have, I don't have a gutter system, so I fashioned flashing to work, and then as you can probably see, I bent it out even further to make sure that it catches as much water as possible. And then anywhere that I connected the flashing, I sealed it with tar. I let it, I let it wash most of the mud out over here before I finished setting that up, because there was a lot of dirt in the flashing. And uh, now the water that has been coming out down here is clean. It's supposed to rain harder tomorrow, so I'll get some more footage for you guys and I'll post it. We'll catch you on the next video.